Hi, this is Handy Doctor. Today, I am going to show you how to replace the diverter motor seal on a dishwasher. The one I'm going to show you is a KitchenAid, but they are very similar. I will show you a easy version and a long version. Um, honestly, the replacement itself is very simple, but how to find out the problem and solve a problem such as no part available will be much more meaningful. So let's get started, but we go with the quick version first. So this is the model number of my dishwasher. However, like I said just now, many dishwasher of more recent years are very similar. So this procedure should apply to many dishwasher, maybe yours. First of all, what you need to do is that you open the door of your dishwasher and they more or less look like this. And now, first thing first, you need to rotate this filter cup counterclockwise to remove it. By the way, you should clean this filter cup and this filter piece regularly in order for your dishwasher to work effectively. And I in fact have a videos that you can watch and learn how to do it and I will put the video in the descriptions. After that, what you need to do is you need to remove this arm. What you should do is you hopefully see this tiny knot out here. You can actually grab onto it and then also rotate it counterclockwise and the arm can be removed and of course this filter can be removed too. And this will be how it should look like after that. On this dishwasher, this hose and the base actually just slide on top of each other. So the next thing you need to do is you just put your finger into it and pull the hose to the top. The two will separate. Now, next, you want to rotate the base uh, counterclockwise again. And when you do that, this hose and the connector will also disconnect from each other. And after that, you can remove this base and a white plastic piece will expose. Uh, there's nothing hold on to the white plastic piece. You just take it out and this will be your diverter motor seal inside the tiny black piece. What you need to do is you get a needle and plug it out and then just put your new one in onto it and just slide in and then you reverse everything back and you're done. Of course, you may say, yeah, but why do I want to replace it to start with? Well, it is broken. But how do I know it is broken? That's why we need a long version. So let's look at the long version as a matter of fact. Like many people, we wash the dishes at night. And for a couple of days, I realized something interesting. The next morning, the indication light is off. On a normal day, this should be what happened. It should be a white light when it finished the washing cycle. So that tell me the dishwasher for some reason could not finish the washing cycle. And as a matter of fact, I realized that there may be soapy water even inside the dishwasher. So something was wrong. At first, I thought it was electrical, and I actually had an idea. The idea was this. I thought that maybe the mechanism showing the door is locked is broken. So when I close the door, the machine doesn't think so. And in the middle of it, it will just disconnect the washing cycle. Well, is that true or not? I actually start a washing cycle without any dishes inside okay a little bit and try to see what happened no what did i do i opened the door on purpose and see what the reaction of the dishwasher was well after quite many hours all the light was still on and i said okay that's it it is not the latch mechanism at least but what was the problem at this point, I do not know yet. So one day I realized the floor is wet, as you can see here. 
So in other words, the dishwasher leak water, as a matter of fact. So what part can leak water? Then? Well, there are multiple. One of the very important one is the diverter motor. Now, you could not see this unless you take your dishwasher out and flip it sideways. Uh, I have this picture for some other region, so that's why I can show you. Uh, this is a diverter motor, and there is a seal here. As we saw earlier in the quick version, over here it can leak water out from here. And here is the main seal for the water pump. Over here it could leak water too. The two are pretty close to each other. It's not so easy to tell which one is which one, unfortunately, but we will find out. To see where it leak, we should take the metal panel off, and this is the metal panel that touched the ground. Two screws, very easy, one on the left side and another one on the right side. So the panel can come out, and this will be how it look like under in fact this is a video and in a minute i am going to show you the video you're going to see water come out but it's hard to tell where exactly it leak out as a matter of fact so now here is the video look you see water leaking out in the middles and you also hear the noise let's try that one more time I hope you saw that just now, water leaking out from the bottom, but it's still difficult to see where it leak out. So I bought a reflection mirror and put the mirror inside. By the way, the mirror can extend it to very long. And I lay on the ground and just look, and I can tell it coming out from the diverter motor. So, like I said just now, I actually can see water leaking up from the diverter motor in the hole in the middle, like I told you earlier. And as a matter of fact, if I go back into the dishwasher, I actually can feel the stem. So this is a small video. The stem actually have quite some play inside. So I very sure that the seal is broken that's why it has the play and that's why it leak water and it makes perfect sense why this happened so normally you start the dishwasher the dishwasher is happy and fine but it leak water and then what and then it probably create a short circuit inside the diverter motor and obviously the machine doesn't like it so it stopped the washing cycle it disconnect the power entirely but it will become dry you know, in more or less 24 hours. The next day you want to start it, it will still stop. And that's what happened to my dishwasher. The fix though is obviously simple, like we said earlier. Take the diverter motor seal out and put a new one on if you can find a seal. Well, we could not survive without a dishwasher, so honestly tell you, before we get the correct seal, this is actually what I did. I took the broken old seal out, and then I used some dishwasher safe glue, and I used Teflon tape to make a seal myself. This is actually my temporary seals, actually, and those are the new one I got later on. I actually get multiple. That's why I can take a picture together, show you the, the upper side and the lower size. But anyhow, tell the truth. My quick and dirty one work pretty well. It leak a little bit of water, but just several drop. It's dry enough for the cycle to finish. And it worked for about 10 days or so, actually before I put the new one onto it. So this is my quick and dirty fix. I guess you don't have to do this, but if you really want to, you could take my suggestion though. Buy those seal and keep the at home. They are not expensive at all and they become handy when you need. So now all I need to do is buy the parts and replace it, right? As I show you just now in the quick version it's very easy anyway you don't need to pull the dishwasher out or do anything crazy it's simple well yeah not so simple
no parts available. You may say, how can that be the case? We have Amazon, we have eBay, we have all the parts stores, so many choices. Well, officially, Kitchen A or Whirlpool, if you want to do it that way, don't make this seal separately. If you do not know Whirlpool or Kitchen A anyway. So they don't make these ones. They claim that the only way to get a new seal is to get this big piece, I don't even know how to call it, and of course that will come up with the diverter motor seal. No, none available. I have confirmed this one with multiple store. They all say no, no. There is a seal, but it is for uh, older versions, older dishwasher, and maybe other dishwasher. Not for this ones. Sorry for that. You could not buy it. Uh, I have to tell you the truth. I wasn't happy. Because obviously the bigger piece will be a lot more expensive. 10 times, if not 20 times more expensive. And that's not it. The labor to replace it will be much longer. And as a matter of fact, I might create another leaking issues. Do we really have to do this? Well, maybe, but not so quick. I realize one thing. When I look at the seal, the broken one on my dishwasher, and I look at the picture online, they look the same. They look the same, exactly the same. So even though they all say it doesn't fit, I decided to try my luck. By the way, this is the part number. One that officially would not fit with the model of dishwasher I have. But I decided to buy it, and in fact, I, I bought three of them. They are, they are very cheap anyway. Three of them will cost you less than 15 bucks. I will give you the link below from Amazon. And remember, I have my quick and dirty seal I make myself. As a matter of fact, I, I can afford to wait for several days. It works. It works to certain extent. And if the the new seal really indeed are not the correct part, well, I guess I will have to buy the, the big piece then. I have no choice. And now, what's the answer? It fit perfectly, perfectly well. There's no leak whatsoever for a month or two already, honestly tell you. So I learned a lesson here, guys, if you haven't. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe it is true, sometimes they don't make the parts. You have to buy the bigger piece, more expensive one. But for these ones, you don't have to. So we can complain a lot, but we also have to be smart. We sometimes can outsmart the manufacturer, actually. So if I were you, and if you have this dishwasher, buy several of these seal and keep them at home, just in case later on. I did. I have two more pieces left, actually. So thank you very much for watching. This is my fix of the diverted motor seal of my Kitchen A dishwasher. And the story behind it, some manufacturer decided to screw us up, basically. But we sometimes could outsmart them. Not always, unfortunately. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.